Amber Jack. Hey, you guys, good morning. You know, it's been a long several hours for the crews that are working on the Gateway Project here. Specifically, they were working from 10 o'clock last night up until just recently putting in that new bridge over on uh, the Roper Mountain Road area. So want to give you a look at this video that's going to pop up on the screen so you can see what the crews are doing, the certain phase of this Gateway Project. So they were seen installing the new bridge uh, most recently, and that's because it was supposed to happen yesterday but it was delayed because of the foggy weather that just kind of made a, a issue for them to do that. So again, it's night and we're seen just making sure that the girders were up and installing that new bridge. And again, um, in regards to construction for the Gateway Project, most of the construction work that is done overnight wraps up around equipment out and things like that. So good things to keep in mind as you make your morning commute moving forward because the Gateway Project Live in Greenville, Aubrey Jackson, WYFF News 4. Farmberg County deputies say the hunt for the 18-year-old suspect in a deadly shooting is over. The well, it costs plenty to keep the lights on here. A new federal report finds South Carolinians spend more for electricity than people in any other state. The study found that last year, the people of South Carolina paid about $400 more than the national average. More homes here rely on electric energy than the national, many using high electricity summer and winter. It all boils down to usage. Bronze medal and Vaughn very likely competed in her last Olympic downhill yesterday. She gave everything she had and came away with the bronze. Then she got emotional, remembering her late grandfather, for whom she so desperately wanted to win. But I still think I made him proud. And our family never gives up, and I never gave up. I kept working hard, and I am really proud of this medal, and I, I know he is too. You know, that, that's just a great point there, that a lot of times you just want them to be there. You don't well, necessarily want imagine, to talk to them. I imagine it's difficult because when they're growing up and they're training for all this, you're there, you're taking them yeah, and you're, absolutely. you know, help picking them up and talking to them. And then you just got to. Right. I mean, there's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of sacrifice along the way. So it's great that they're getting to enjoy it together. Yeah. It's special, isn't it? For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, well, at 539, this weather's pretty special. President Trump is moving to make bump fire stocks off limits for gun devices that make semi-automatic guns. Fire-like automatic weapons were found in the hotel room of Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock. President Trump signed a memo directing the attorney general to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into military-style guns. The White House also not ruling out raising the age limit for buying military-style weapons. Dale, will the Oconee County Council going down a rocky road discussing the future of the Oconee County rock quarry? Upstate Rock and Sand Haulers drove their dump trucks to the county council meeting where council members were discussing a possible property purchase at the quarry. The improvements include a new crushing plant and maintenance building costing $7.5 million. Probably sick of hearing about the flu shot, but the shot has another subfit. If you have a bad heart, get the flu shot. Experts say the flu shot helps prevent heart attacks as much blood pressure. According to a new study, elderly people who are sick with the flu are six times more likely to have a heart attack. That combined with cardiovascular problems can be dangerous and deadly even when the risk of the shot is lower. Doctors say the vaccine still decreases your risk of heart attack. People around the country are doing their part to raise awareness for congenital heart defects. 40,000 babies are born every year in the U.S. with a congenital heart defect. What better way to raise awareness than dressing up tiny babies in tiny red hats? Newborns all over the country are getting one this month. All handmade, all donated through the American Heart Association's Little Hats, Big Hearts program. A labor of love, 200,000 red hats have been donated through the program. Midweek baseball yesterday afternoon, a pair of 3-0 teams going head-to-head. -head. Lives practicing to be at a daycare in Wisconsin are getting an early start. That's right. These athletes may not be ready for the Olympics, but they're off to a pretty good start. Children at this development <laughs> will the Olympics by doing their own versions of the sports they see on TV. Their own Olympics, being curling, hockey, and of course they're waving their American yeah, flag there. Flag for sure. The director there says the children are understanding the concept behind it. That's what it's all about. And that looks like that like one fun. little boy just yeah. went down. It's like real ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're learning how to stand yeah. up on the ice. Not exactly conventional, but I like the little girl that was like, process. "Go USA!" <laughs> <laughs> and let's get to this morning's uh, headlines. Live, local, breaking news. This is WYFF News Four today. What county Council needs to do now before taking the next step. Dropping 
criminal charges against the protesters who brought down a Confederate monument. And another medal for USA's Lindsey Vaughn will take it to the Olympics. At 6 o'clock, though, let's get to weather and traffic together here. Traffic reporter Ben McDavid watching the roads, but a uh, traffic update. Good morning. This is a live look. I-85 North blinking arrow up there. That's warning cars about construction on the Gateway Project. We did have some steel girders put in place last night. But as we see the news, your drive times, let's take a look. 85 southbound from the airport to Woodruff Road, six minutes. Thank you, Brennan. Well, right now, looking out of our Woodruff Road sky cam, hard to see in the dark here, but there are some cars already out on the roads. Traffic moving again this morning after a major installation of the Gateway Project overnight. And WIFF News 4's Aubrey Jackson right there at the Gateway Project this morning with the very latest. Aubrey? That's right, crews have been working hard on the Gateway Project, specifically installing a new bridge along Roper Mountain Road. And we have a time-lapse video that we want to show you so you can see what the crews were doing in real time because, man, they had quite the project or the phase of this project on their hands to complete. We captured this through our Woodruff Road Skycam. Construction was delayed today's foggy conditions, and that's what caused the crews to begin working on this bridge around 10 o'clock last night. So crews have stopped working for now this morning, but they'll restart again sometime between 7 and 10 and then you know let's kind of talk about how this could affect your commute that because of all of this there could be some traffic as early as 7 p.m. in some spots and that's because of lane closures that start on I-85 North near Lawrence Road and then on 385 North and South all the way to I-85 and we'll continue or restart again um, at the times that I mentioned there for you so just keep all of that in mind as you make your way out the door. Live in Greenville, Aubrey Jackson, WIFF News 4. All right, Aubrey, thank you all the excitement for the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. Still going strong. Joining us live from South Korea this morning is our Deirdre Fitzpatrick. Hi there, Deirdre. Hi, Jeff and Allison. Hi, Deirdre. Okay, so we want to start with the latest news we're just hearing. The women's cross-country skiing making history. Shocking. Wow. Is, it, is it shocking there as well? <laughs> well, Dickens is good. Oh, I mean, if you're from Norway right now, you are not saying much. <laughs> it's pretty remarkable. All right. Uh, Swedes as well. All right. So congrats to them. Uh, what a job there. Let's talk about Lindsay Vaughn. She takes bronze. To pull it off. She races again tomorrow, by the way, in the women's combined. Yeah. All right, Deirdre, great job as always. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you, Deirdre. To our current medal count now is an 18 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. 30 medal number of gold medals at 11 and 23 overall. United States down to sixth place with 14 total medals. Well, new details now out of North Carolina. Prosecutors say they are dropping all charges against the remaining five people accused of toppling a Confederate statue. This is video of when protesters topped meant last summer. Durham County District Attorney made the after a judge threw out charges against two other people and found one person guilty. The DA says acts of vandalism still violate the law, even if they have a noble intent. Back. State of addiction news here. Greenville County Council votes to combat the opioid epidemic through the law. This Greenville will council agreed last night to work eight grounds to sue people businesses or pharmaceutical companies they deem responsible for the opioid crisis. Not specifically named the target of a possible lawsuit, Spartanburg County Council passed a similar resolution Monday night. Six minutes after. One million, million of that belongs to people right here in the upstate. Tonight, WYFF4 is hosting a Claim Your Cash phone bank. Staff from the state treasurer's office will be on hand to take your calls. The phone lines will be open from 5 until 6.30 tonight. Your screen right before the lines open. You Dale, eight minutes, nine minutes now after six, and we're checking back in with the roads here. Quite a few people on them. Yes, I-85 looks busy for this time of the morning. Also, we see some blinking arrows over there in the southbound lanes. Uh, one lane is closed on I-85 southbound between Pelly construction that's lingering around a little bit. Greenville County, we are still following this crash on I-85 southbound at River Road. It's not affecting traffic in that lane, but it is something to watch out for if you're traveling towards Anderson County. We do have one crash in Anderson County that is reporting injuries. This is in the Honeypath area. It's on Highway 252 in the area, but EMS is on scene. Your drive time, 85 southbound from I-26 to Highway 101 in Spartanburg. Nine minutes. All right, thank you, Brennan. Well, yesterday was sure. We sure did. So uh, <laughs> this one here is, uh, what are we talking about, Betsy? 
It's Betsy, this the chinchilla, Betsy right here. Persian chinchilla Ooh, kitty from Traveler's Rest. Beautiful Rest. cat right there. And uh, okay. this is Neely. Yes, contain so awesome. That's what this one is, right? The here. cat, yeah, may contain. This is a cute little puppy. Take a look at this English bulldog, Frank. He <laughs> is so cute. He's from Greenwood. That's right. Shannon and Ken, round tree there from Greenwood. And 14 year old cat here, Snow, loves playing with your carrot, naps, and watching some television. For those pictures, you'll <laughs> see more at you local here on our website. Well, straight ahead, find out how. Automatic guns fire like automatic weapons. Bump stocks hotel room of Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock. The White House also not ruling out raising the age limit for buying military style weapons. And new to go to Brennan now for traffic. All right, thank you, Dale. We still have the inside lane blocked on I 85 southbound at Pelham Road. You see those arrows blinking out there from the DOT camera? That'll slow down traffic a little bit in that area. 76 up towards Traveler's Rest, moving at Speed Limit Drive. As Dale mentioned earlier, we are seeing some rain, though, in the Coney County area. Folks traveling on Highway 11 through Salem, something to watch out for anytime you're driving through slick conditions. Anderson County, we have a crash uh, that is partially blocking highway traffic in that area, and EMS is on scene as well. Also, Church Street in the northbound lanes headed towards Honey Path uh, is showing some slowdown as well this morning. Your drive times, let's take a look. 85 southbound from Pelham Road to Highway 153 on schedule 13 minutes. For our lives movement, Winfrey is matching George and Amal Clooney's donation of $500,000. She took to Twitter to share her support saying, quote, these inspiring young people remind me of the freedom riders of the 60s who also said we've had enough and our voices will be heard. The march survived last week's deadly school shooting in Florida. And Trump bestowed the nation's highest honor for public safety during a ceremony at the White House. The Medal of Valor was awarded to 12 first responders from local police, fire and rescue personnel and sheriff's officers. 15 people lost their lives. The Medal of Valor acknowledges bravery and courage exhibited by public safety officers throughout our country. All right, let's turn to something sweet now. Mm -hmm. You smell it? Mm -hmm. It smells real good. Brennan doesn't, yeah. but I do. I had elementary school yesterday, the fourth graders. In fact, everybody at Pelham Road Elementary, so much wow. fun. The detail is incredible. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, oh, they, wow. got, they got the forecast yeah. right, right there. Well, here's a quick look at what's... Blocking one lane on I-85 southbound at Pelham Road. It is starting, starting to cause a little bit of slowdown in this area. I just checked uh, SCDOT's website, and it says that the lane should be back open by 7 a.m., but we're going to keep a close eye on it for you. Spartanburg County, no major accidents to up to speed limit drive. A closer look at Church Street, pretty quiet so far this morning. In Anderson County, we do have one crash. It is in the Honey and Strong Road, causing a little bit of slowdown in that area as well, and EMS is on scene. I-85 southbound from I-26 to Highway 101, nine minutes. Night. So let's see how things are going right now. Robbery Jackson live and local at the Gateway Project here this morning. Aubrey? That's right. Crews have been busy working on the Gateway Project, Roper Mountain Road. The crews have done overnight regarding this phase of the Gateway Project, and also we'll talk about how it could potentially affect your daily commute. We'll get into that in a second. Now, we do know that from this video, we captured this with our Woodruff Road Skycam, showing the construction that at one point was delayed because of foggy weather, so that's caused crews to have to start their work around 10 o'clock last night. The crews have stopped working for now, but they'll start back up again around sometime between 7 and 10 that. The project could cause some traffic as early as 7 p.m. in some spots. Lane closures we're noticing will start on I-85 North near Lawrence Road on 385 North and South all the way to I-85 North and South. Now construction normally for morning daily commute. Live in Greenville, Aubrey Jackson, WIFF News 4. North County deputies say the search for the 18-year-old suspect in a deadly shooting is over. The sheriff says Brian Fox Oconee County Council is going down a rocky road. Discussion of the future of the Oconee County Rock Quarry. Upstate Rock and Sand Haulers drove their dump trucks to the county council meeting where council members were discussing a possible property purchase at the quarry. The improvements include a new crushing plant and maintenance building costing $7.5 million. And Deirdre saying Norway is just stunned right now that we won the gold medal. <laughs> In cross country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're like, country. hello. One of the bigger stories now all of a sudden yeah. from the Olympic Games. Good for this. He posted this on Facebook saying, quote, we need one of these high-speed bullet trains from the upstate to Charleston, also from Charlotte to Atlanta. Could you imagine? <laughs> Brennan. 
What I can't imagine is how much fun he's having in South oh, Korea. Oh, he's having a ball. <laughs> he is having so much fun. All right, we're seeing some rain in parts of Pickens County, you said. Yeah, and northeastern Georgia is mm -hmm. getting some scattered showers. We'll talk about how warm it's going to get today. All right, thank you, Dale. Time now. 41. We had some overclock this morning. It looks like we have some blue lights out there. Uh, hopefully that inside lane should open here within the next half hour and traffic will pick up in the area because we are seeing a little bit of slowdown right now on I-8520 headed out towards Piedmont. Looking good so far this morning. We do have a big crash though in Anderson County in the Honea Path area. It's partially blocking Highway 252 at Armstrong Road. EMS is on scene. He's slowing down a little bit. 13 minutes. Midweek baseball yesterday afternoon, a pair of 3-0 teams going head-to-head. -head. Clemson hosting Furman, the first midweek game of the season for both teams. Check out this web gem in the third. Freshman Bryce Teodosio flashing the leather. Great play by the Malden High product. Clemson scores first. Bottom of the third. Runner on third with Chris Williams up. He hits one deep enough to send. Logan Davidson scores. Tigers up 1-0. But Furman answers in its next at bat. Jabari Richards on first. He takes off and Jason Costa is swinging. The hit and run works. Costa sends that one to the wall. Richards scores. Tie game one to one. But Chris Williams breaks it open in the fifth. Goodbye baseball. Three run homer. Tigers up four to one. Clemson bats were just getting started. They score 12 total in the win. And the South Carolina baseball team beat North Florida yesterday afternoon as well. That is the game. Julia Morris for WYFF News 4 Sports. College baseball just getting started, right? It's a long season. Coming up in our news to go, the president announcing that look at the smiles. Do you How see that? that? I mean, nobody thought they had a chance. No. They get gold. That's terrific. Another look at traffic and weather now. Yeah, Brendan, how are we looking on the roads? Yeah, I love a good underdog story. This is a live look. I-85 southbound at Pelham Road. The inside lane has 